Welcome to another MSO underscore review. I'm really excited today to present to you the 2022 Pagani Roadster VC. with the top off and that roof scoop right behind you, it's gotta sound amazing. I cannot wait to drive this thing in the summer. I might have to take it down to Miami Beach. Sorry, Dad. I'll bring it back in one piece. So it's also known as the Waira Roadster BC or the Pagani Roadster BC. Do in fact that this is a completely different car from the BC Coupe. We have a new engine to talk about. We have some new aero to talk about. We have even new carbon to talk about. And as you can see, it's a little bit different color than MVBC that we currently already have. 791 horsepower, 774 pound feet of torque. That's paired with a seven speed automated manual single clutch gearbox. They stuck with the single clutch gearbox in, in the Wyra Roadster BC because it's 35% lighter than the dual clutch transmission. I gotta talk about the spec that we went with. Obviously the red paint is done in Rosso, Dubai. We also have the Bianco Benny, also known as white stripes along here. We also have the Bianco Benny stripes along the front canards, which continues across the bonnet, onto the Roadster top, down the roof scoop, all the way to the quad exhaust on top. We also have the American flag on this mirror. And alongside the other mirror, we have the Italian flag to commemorate Horatio Pagani and where the P Pagani factory resides. We are looking at one of 40 roadsters made in the world. What an enjoyable experience. I gotta say the experience of driving this car is really unlike any of the other ones. And that's what's so special about all these cars is they really have so much uniqueness. talk about the wheels real quick and these massive rotors so up front you have the 20 by 255 wheels with the 15 and a half inch rotors in the rear you have the 21 by 355 with the 15 inch rear rotor uh, the best part about the wire bc is the updates to all the carbon fiber that they did this is the strongest carbon fiber that pagani's ever done it's actually called carbotanium. The carbon is actually infused with titanium. So you don't sacrifice any strength to that carbon when you make it as light as possible. One of the trademarks to the Wyra are the flaps that are in the front and the rear. These flaps are automated. They help with downforce. They help with balancing the car and corners. Another cool update to the Wyra Roadster BC is the electronically activated dampers. Do you think people think you're crazy for driving this in, in winter? Yeah. In the end, it's just a car. It is just a car, but but you know, this is a way for us to diversify too, right? Yeah. Besides just putting it all somewhere where you can't have fun with it. That's right. As we move to the back of the Roadster BC, my favorite feature obviously is the fact that it is a removable top Roadster. Then you have this beautiful work of art floating roof scoop above your head with the 6.0 liter twin turbo V12 sitting right back here. We did have it out a little bit the other day and it's just, it's a completely different car. This engine specifically was a brand new design from AMG and Pagani that is sitting in the Roadster BC. You will also see it in the next Pagani variation, which is codenamed C10. We wanna know, what do you like better? Do you like the Rosso Dubai Roadster BC or do you like the blue and carbon MVBC? So as we come around to the very back of the Roadster BC, probably my favorite feature though of the Roadster BC is the painted Triple F logos under the flaps. Yes, those are paint, that is not vinyl. Just a very, very cool touch by Pagani to add those. 
Another cool feature is the fact that this car now has six exhaust pipes or tips coming out the rear. You have the, the traditional quad exhaust tips with BC and titanium, but underneath the rear diffuser here, you have two more exhaust tips. Now that's a new feature on the Roadster BC with the new engine, the new exhaust work. There's actually an electronic button on the inside of the Roadster that you now push to open up those exhaust pipes, which essentially becomes a straight piped Roadster BC, which sounds unbelievable. What does this little exhaust button do here? To make it louder. That's a nice tone right there, isn't it? It sure is. The Roadster BC is basically a brand new car compared to the BC Coupe. Uh, you have an all new front splitter, new canards on the sides to help with all the downforce and extreme aero that this car has. I read that this car actually did a lap around the Belgium Spa in one second quicker than the McLaren Senna, which is completely mind blowing. I believe a lot of that has to do with the fact that it weighs just over 3000 pounds, which is just as much, I think it's actually lighter than a Porsche Cayman GT4. Oh, you just want to go, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Can't though. I know it's hard not to. I can feel it. Fun facts for you guys. Everybody likes to talk about zero to 60 times. This can be done in 3.3 seconds, quarter mile in 10.4. So I love seeing the flaps come up at the back. When you stop, flash them the triple F. You like flashing the triple F? I don't know. You don't know? I can't see it. <laughs> but you like the idea of it? Yeah. You like flashing people? Yeah, I do. Nice. So we pointed something out about halfway through the review. We're standing here doing a review on a Pagani Waira Roadster BC and we have the top on. Cut the B-roll. Welcome to the interior of the Pagani Roadster BC. Uh, as you can see, you have a lot of similarities to the coupe, but you also have a lot of new uh, bits and pieces put together in the interior. One thing that Pagani does better than most is their ability to take all different types of fabrics, materials, the exposed carbon on the interior mixed with the titanium and carbon and aluminum and the plaid, everything just fits together so well. Uh, you can spend days trying to find an imperfection in the stitch and the carbon, uh, but you're gonna be doing that forever because literally there are no imperfections when it comes to Pagani. One of my favorite features on the interior is the wooden shift knob. Uh, this is an ode to Pagani Horatio's favorite car ever made, which is the Porsche 917. Uh, they use these wooden shift knobs to uh, prevent heat getting into the cabin and shifting uh, during the mock. One big update on the Roadster BC is the fact that it's now keyless. So this is the new Wyra Roadster BC key. Foot on the brake. And it's another push button start. Oh. That feels so good. Seeing the front flaps come up when you brake too, it is incredible. It feels like you are in a jet. Very cockpity the way the wheel has all, the steering wheel has all the instrument cluster kind of just attached to it. Ooh. Just that shift from first to second, and you feel that real boost. It might not be the fastest, but it sure does have that emotion and that spirit and soul to it. It really gets that connection between man and machine. I feel like I'm part of it. Oh, the downshifts are killer. You have your traditional Pagani Waira steering wheel. You have all your controls, you have your lights, you have your turn signals on the steering wheel. Uh, it's beautifully wrapped in carbon with Alcantara sides. Uh, you have your shift paddles, but you can also drive it in automatic, of course. So right now we have it in wet mode, which is going to be in blue, displayed here on your dash. Turn it to comfort, it remains blue. However, when you go to sport, it turns to red and race is going to be in a yellowish green. And with ESC all the way off, it's just a pushover, hold, turns it off, and then back to race mode. 
But this is all traditional. This is all very familiar from the BC Coupe. I think it's definitely my favorite to look at from the outside. Oh yeah. I don't think mom's seen it yet. Oh, she hasn't. Let's show mom. Everything else is pretty much the same. You have all of your features up here. Um, you have your defroster, your fog lights, your hazards, your door locks, and your wings. Two more new features are gonna be found right here. You're gonna have a little button with four circles on it, which signifies the top quad exhaust. When you push that button, it's gonna open up the valves on the bottom two exhausts. Um, but then you also have a, a dampener here. Uh, what that does, it actually softens the suspension. It's kind of opposite how most of your cars currently, currently work that stiffen it, this actually softens the suspension up. All in all, this is a brand new car compared to the MVBC Coupe. Um, one more thing to note, some serious fire extinguisher stuff in here. Probably the biggest fire extinguisher I've ever seen in a car is up front here. Uh, and then you also have this little thing here that says fire, which kind of begs you to pull, but I beg you not to ever pull that. The reason being is in the event that does get pulled, the entire engine bay is foamed, sprayed with fire retardant uh, spray liquid. So highly suggest if you ever get a chance to sit in a Roadster BC, do not pull that. We will be in some serious trouble. While we're down here talking about this massive fire extinguisher, uh, you're gonna notice the floor mats or lack thereof. Those are not carbon floor mats. That's the carbon tub of the car. $4 million car, no floor mats. Right, very smooth. Yeah, it does. Is this your favorite car now? It's a nice, nice car. It's gorgeous looking at it. Yeah. You see that color? I do like it. You're laughing over a lot. Well, I can do anything I want in this car. Oh, Dave, stop. We'll never find an imperfection on any Pagani ever made. Uh, the reason being is they only make 45 cars a year. So if you break that down, that's less than one per week. I did the math myself on that and it checks out because there's 52 weeks in a year. So pretty smart. You can add that if you want, Jacob. That was just for you in case you pulled out the old calculator. I helped you out, buddy. Hey, Jacob, this is a fire extinguisher. This guy right here, this is, a, it says Pagani. It's the largest fire extinguisher I've ever seen in any car ever, because there's probably been like seven cars ever made with a fire extinguisher.